Good morning and welcome to Daily Devo, the best way to start your day in the Word of God. My name is Whitney Mead and welcome to the show. You can find me here every Monday through Friday where we're going to get encouraged, get filled up, and grow closer to the Lord. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell button to get notified every time an episode of Daily Devo goes live. Our theme this month is worship, and you can get your October t-shirt, your Daily Devo coffee cups, stickers, tote bags, and more at my website at WhitneyMead.com. Now, let's get down to business. It is a new month. It happens to be one of my favorite months, in fact, and that means that we have a new theme. Originally, I had another theme picked out for you, but as I was preparing to write these episodes, the Lord just kept whispering to my heart that he had something else planned for you, and that's worship. I took out my big yellow notepad and began to write down everything I could think about about worshiping the Lord and how that looks in our lives. And I quickly filled up that page with tons of ideas and memories. Throughout the Word of God, we see the theme of worship delicately woven through all sorts of situations, from battles to heartaches to joy to gladness and anywhere and everywhere in between. We see David worship in the streets, and we see the disciples worship at Jesus' feet. Worship is a key element of our relationship with God. I don't want you to miss out on this part of your journey with Jesus. I believe that he wants to draw you closer to himself this month, and that he's going to reveal worship to you in a fresh, new way. The prophetic rumblings that I've just been sensing since August has been that we have already crossed into a new season. In fact, today, October 1st, is the last day of Rosh Hashanah, the holiday that marks the beginning of the Jewish New Year. Although God has extended his mercy to Gentiles like me all around the world, the Israelites are still his original chosen people. So Jewish tradition matters a lot to me. I don't think it's coincidental at all that as today we begin this new series on worship, we are entering into a new global calendar month and a new Jewish calendar year. Let's open the word of God together, starting in Romans 12. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. When we give our bodies to God by allowing him to enter into our mind and transform the way we think, we are worshiping him. Not only are we worshiping him, we are truly worshiping him. I can't think of anything more valuable, more useful, and more special than my own thoughts It's how I am who I am. It's what makes me me and what makes you you. When we present our minds to God, when we hold it in our hands and say, do with me what you will, Lord, we are placing our trust in him. Our actual lives become an act of worship. As you prepare to take on your day, take a moment to whisper a simple prayer to your heavenly father. God, today, I give you my mind. I give you my life. I worship you in the most sacred way that I know how, to give you total control. I trust you. He will not let you down. Lashana Tova, happy 5780, and I hope you have a great day. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning.